All right, so ESL Pro League week one is about to begin. Week one is going to be an interesting one. Chad, you're going to be there going through all of it. And it's going to be, so group A is Mouse Europe, Sports, anyway. North, Optic, and X Space Soldiers, right? You guys already spoke on kind of some of the matches you've put the money on. Mouse Sports, at least looking probably, it's going to be pretty nice to see them in action. North, um, can they continue a little bit of success we saw them have at the Star Series? Optic. It's going to be interesting to see what this roster can do, right? Where they're at now, since all the changes have come in. And then X-Space Soldiers. Okay, you're there, but how much can you do? We don't really know what to expect from them at all, really. They're, they're, in, a, they're in a rough ride spot. Yeah, I think that this format, just for those people who aren't, aren't aware, so it's four groups of four uh, on, on land for both the North American region and the European region. And the seedings have been done with... I uh, can't wait for everybody to scoff. Uh, the ESL World Rankings, so that's how they've done, done their seedings for the groups. Um, so uh, most of them look pretty good. I think Group C is the only one where it's like, Ugh. but the, the cool thing here is uh, it's a, it's a round-robin format, so actually it still plays into the idea of being a league, um, whereas people might be like, oh, you know, what it? Like it doesn't feel like there's any conclusion. I actually think that I don't mind it because it is a league, because it leads into to the finals, right? So for me, that's, that's not such a problem. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I think is cool is if you top your group, then you go straight through uh, to play in the final. If you yeah. come uh, second or third in your group, then you get to play in a secondary group to come top two, right, to go to, to the finals. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's top two because there'd be four teams. No, it's only what, eight sorry? teams. Yeah, it would be top two. Yeah, eight from each region, right? Yes. So you get four oh, come yeah. through on the first set and then your last two yeah. groups, two from each of them, boom, done, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick maths. Yeah, Come on, Chad. Um, and just <laughs> what some of the things which I'm really curious about, and, and this will tie back into the point you're just making about space soldiers, is how they're going to do the relegation. I don't yeah. think that's, that has been uh, publicly announced just yet. And, and surprisingly, what's their roster now? Uh, Yam. Oh yes, Yam was the Calix, big, that's the one. Engine, Paz, and Immortal. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm really curious to see how the relegation is going to work because now you're going to have a clear four bottom teams, and I don't. I for once I actually don't know what's happening. So. Um, I, I would like to just quickly theorycraft this if you guys want to take a minute, um, is that if I was the one who was deciding how the relegation would work, I'd get those four bottom teams. Now, in the past, if you've ever watched ESL Pro League, you know the team who comes last, they get automatically relegated. Now, I think that's kind of shitty. Um, I don't think that just because you come last in the Pro League, that means the team who comes first in Mountain Dew League is better than you. I don't think that that's a fair comparison. Yeah. Now, okay. sure, on paper, sometimes you might be like, oh, well, that is quite clear, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the case. And with move-ups, moves-downs like this, I think that if you're going to have four teams coming out the bottom um, here, then you could use them as your first four. You could use the top three teams from the Mountain Dew League season, and then you could have a wildcard team. People are like, Chad, what do you mean a wildcard team? Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, there was a while ago that all of you motherfuckers complained because VP got back into the league at the time. Now, you all have to remember that <laughs> these leagues, all of these leagues Jesus. and tournaments, they do this kind of stuff because it brings the viewership. Now, what you could do out of this whole situation is there are teams who are not in the Pro League right now who also don't play in Mountain Dew League who should definitely be in the Pro League. Yeah. So by having a wildcard slot, you could very easily justify having that team come in and play. And I think that considering the nature of Counter-Strike, that slots are not owned by, like, obviously organizations could pop up tomorrow. If I was a billionaire, I could start a team tomorrow and buy whoever the fuck I wanted, and we wouldn't be in Pro League. So I could buy Simple, Nico, Cold Zero. I could buy the best players in the world, and my team wouldn't be in Pro League. And everyone would be like, why the fuck is Chad's team called the fucking the big dogs with the big dicks <laughs> not in Pro League? <laughs> and this could be a way to facilitate that. Anyway, I'm, I was just thinking Can I have that, that name as your next fantasy name, please? Uh, we want no, we don't want Jay Knox anymore. Big dicks. Uh, come on, Strike has yeah, got his one. He's got yeah, dicks in there big somewhere. Dicks, big, dicks, big dick players, yeah. <laughs> I mean, big dick, I'm probably going to go with like big dick energy next time, whatever. Something with a big dick. But people in the know, chat are already... Compensating. People in the chat are already getting it, right? Ants, yeah. Vitality, those are the yeah. names, right? Those yeah. are the type of teams. And, so and wild. So Valiance is also on the yeah. cusp and probably won't make it considering they're just, they're still in MDL though. So they need to play another season of MDL, make the playoffs, go into the playoffs, go yeah. through the playoffs to the like relegation and then play. And the, the biggest issue with all, all of these teams that like, I don't know, like Vega Squadron and other teams that in the past were playing top tournaments, playing the majors. It's just like the schedule of that and then the schedule of ESEA matches. It's hard yeah. to balance. Of course, there is 
part that goes down to the teams not really prioritizing stuff but at the same time it's really hard to keep that schedule and then come from an epicenter go back home and then play against no chance or whatever like some even like even more unknown team that you have to give like 100 percent in a best of one to not yeah, lose they're, that they're never going to prioritize mdl over any of the yeah. land events ever it just doesn't make any sense so i think I, that you know the relegation possible for esl going forward is really cool because like we were just saying space soldiers they're a team that we don't expect to do a lot they could be one of those teams who they had to play against the vitality or, or a team coming up from mountain dew league it might be interesting of a game but they probably won't make it back the same could be said for x 3d max the fact that you have two teams in the pro league called x something just is like what the fuck so we might get season yeah. nine where we have this and then for season 10 the field might actually be a bit thicker you know we might actually get uh, some some more big names in here I like the yeah. fact that it's changed, though. I really like the fact that it's gone to land, so it's going to make it that a little bit more interesting. Sure. And overall, and it should all, be probably one of the best pro league we've had. Of course. Yeah. I mean, just uh, to, to bring this back on track to, to what the original point was, just looking at the group, obviously this is an, op this is an opportunity for Mod Sports to, to really show what they're worth and just like get a free uh, spot at the finals. Just with 100%. Sure, North, North have, have looked a little bit better here. But who knows if AZ is going to be in that form again. Who knows how that's going to work out um, at the next event. I'm still not in, entirely sold on North. Uh, and obviously, whatever's going on with Optic is also not, not very ideal with MSL. Who is going to play for Optic? I mean, Are they actually going to play with MSL, MSL and Snappy? And Snappy? Uh, it Hopefully like not. It. it looks like they, really? they will. So that's, the, that's my point exactly, right? They have oh. X-Space Soldiers who obviously aren't... A, like spaj the sp spaj <laughs> i don't know what? why i said sponge <laughs> because i just combined chat and sponge somehow <laughs> whatever That's uh, a new but one. he was talking about space soldiers not not really being um being a team that we expect to uh, to do anything in this league or in, in the future anyway so they have that and the two danish teams that obviously we have been kind of joking about for a long time especially optic but even north have been have been kind of the butt of our jokes for a long time so um, mm -hmm. This is a really good chance for Mossports to just really come out strong in their LAN debut. So that's that. That's what it, what this this will be. Sure, we've seen a little bit of them online, uh, but we haven't seen them on LAN. We haven't seen them against um, a, a very good set of teams uh, as well. So that this is that's what I'm excited about the most. Uh, just seeing them play, especially when they when they have a really uh, real shot at at going through uh, immediately. You know, on the whole, MSL. Orping over Yugi and Yugi not playing and Snappy there. Where do you guys sit? Because I just think MSL don't orp. Bring Yugi back in. I still believe he's got all that potential. It's just for the, like MSL and Snappy together. That's the that's one thing that doesn't. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. sense. This is, there's nothing Why justifiable you... about that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's for that's... me. It's probably Yugi doesn't want to play. Must be. Oh, must must be. Hopefully, like it, yeah. Okay, that's at least that's the most logical way of looking at it. Because I'm thinking if they just throw him on the bench and they're like. Yugi, like you sit here because we don't want to play with you. That's the dumbest thing because the guy's got potential. But at the same time, NATO Suffix is a free agent. Like, is is that guy cursed? The, the, is it something about that guy we don't know? Like, he's he's, the, he's, thing. he's he, the Danish he offer. That's he free. He has a lot of praise around him. Get get him on trial at least. Like, get yeah, him a lot, there a lot to of play people have been, have been saying good things about him. Like a lot of his ex teammates. So I feel like can be um can be something nato's like... one of the few players i've not heard anything from other players yeah, exactly. saying like this guy is an asshole like don't everybody like says with him. he's super, nice super guy, chill super teammate. i even got to do like a a desk with him he was um he was cast in one of the like the little mini star ladder tournaments he's just a cool guy overall yeah, yeah. that's the that's the thing like who knows but yeah who knows what the what the issue is there maybe he's just like not not really in the public eye people don't, don't even consider him too much He's being I mean, gatekeeped out. Mark, I mean, now, Mark, yeah, exactly. Be. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he, there is the part where he was like casting, doing YouTube, and all of that stuff that people maybe don't take him seriously. But at this, at the, at this point, are you really gonna play with Snappy as just a rifler and MSL on the op over get, getting a guy like a new guy? Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no disrespect to any of these that. guys. Like Snappy and MSL obviously have their roles in like Danish CS. If they're on the best team, we know what it should be, right? That's yeah. that's the way it is. It's you know what crazy. the funny thing is? Like I can see just just because it doesn't make sense, I can just see them doing really well in this. Yeah. <laughs> just because <laughs> all of a sudden because, somehow beat everyone. Just because everything about Optic hasn't made sense so far, like that lineup should have done some something <laughs> good space. by now, right? <laughs> obviously it's gonna be better than the old one. 
That's for sure. It can't be worse. It could be. Chad is being like literally given AIDS right now in the mind. Not much worse, but it could still be worse. So no, I think about this right. So from my perspective, as somebody who has to sit there and fucking break the game down live on broadcast. All right, so you're going into week one of the offline event, and I have three teams who I literally can't go in. I have to go in and go. Well, so this is the land debut for three of these teams. What the fuck am I meant to say? Yeah, Just go up to him right you, before the event and ask him face to face chat and be like, "Look, what the fuck's going on with you cunts?" Even if I watch, even if I watch the demos available of Mouse Boss, that's only what is it? Five maps of Counter Strike, something like that. Yeah, yeah. and nothing, then Optic played like what? Like they played like a, a series and a qualifier or something with when MSL. Yeah, one series and they lost. So it's like, like so all I can do is just theory craft the fuck out of everything. I look and, forward to seeing it, mate. And be wrong about ninety <laughs> percent. Yeah, so because like, they, they will have changed everything, and or they will have played another map that you haven't looked at. Yeah, they lost to fours, sixteen nine, sixteen four. Cool. Refresh, with refresh, refresh, with like zero uh, minutes oh, of optic. practice. Yeah, initially. I know, but that's the thing. It's like you can't really look into that and go. And also, oh, yeah, that's not even really worth strong. looking at that. It's, no. It, it, also, fours have been really strong online lately, so that's another thing to consider. Motherfucking face crack, he be wrecking faces. <laughs> but that's what I'm. That, Jerry, the in-game leader, God. <laughs> the guy, the guy looks yeah, this is, as uh, this same is one. as my friend, and it's <laughs> fucked up. Like I was doing an interview with Jerry, I like this guy looks the same as a guy I spent a lot of time with. It's like, how can this be real? I'm trying not to crack up. It's like a surreal simulation styles shit going on simulation is real you never escape it no oh, hey, just don't just let don't let Anders hear you please <laughs> we, we should i've been i've been talking to him like trying to get him on the show but it's too hard it's Who? Hard. i tried Anders. as well oh Anders. okay yeah, yeah I, I have tried before as well they maybe if everybody like watching just tweets at Anders and yeah to come everyone on right now so on. all a thousand or so of you I mean, Tweet Anders and say, come on, honest, episode of Anders. He had other things to take care of for quite a long time. So well, he does have two us. children now, so I, I, I'll, yeah. he can yeah, like, I don't take care excuse. of the children, walk, walk around. And... I, just, I just give mine to Gemma and say, look after Harvey. I've got shit to do. HLTV confirmed is more important. Anders, sort your shit out. You do it as well, mate. No, I'm joking. You sound like a family man. Can we do this? <laughs> but can we do this before we move on to, to the blast one? Yeah, because um, we're quickly running out of time. Yeah, can who who do we think is gonna t each individual? Who do you think is gonna top this group? Mouse sports. Mouse sports. Prof. He wants to say no. He know. wants to say no. I want to say no. I wanted, wanted to say no, <laughs> but I just you haven't been convinced. I I'll say like, no. I don't. The thing I'll say no as well. Yeah. Okay. I'll I just don't... go on the on the what we know instead of what the, we. Think the logical thing is north for sure, happen. just because mouse sports. Yeah, haven't played really too much. We can't really expect them to be to be amazing from the start so that's completely fair play but at the same time it's not like north have have yeah i don't expect az to be able to consistently provide what he did at star series yeah and this most sports just individually they they should be doing really well so it's just that that's something that i'm going off if north from star series it's, it's up, not going to be yes. optic or space soldiers let's say that Imagine if uh, we've all just been completely brainwashed and Optic are just going to wreck no face fucking, the whole way no through. Fucking way. There's no fucking way they win. Three Somehow, best we're all wrong. You MS, does play. Stockholm, MSL. MSL's not using the orb. The whole world implodes and they just win everything. But that's the, that's the thing, right? Like, since the previous lineup didn't make any sense, this one, I mean, Makes the previous lineup sense. made a lot of sense, but the results didn't make any sense, so this <laughs> has to be the flip. Like, this lineup should never, should never work, and obviously they're going to top the group and, and go through Simulation the complete. Yes. There we go. Blast my preview or just, though, boys. Or just y Yugi comes in last minute and fucks us all, basically. That could that's what I'm saying. Like Yugi, like, Yugi like, that's the thing. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen with this team, and that's that's why I'm feeling for you, Sponge. Like if this happens, or even if it doesn't happen, if it ends up being like this, there's nothing you can go off. And also on broadcast, you can like tell them they're like cunts. Yeah, or not, <laughs> you can't. You can't be as can really go for the entertainment us. value that you can here at HLTV confirmed. But so, yes, yeah. hopefully That's I have, we have the. This. Hopefully I have the clipping available that I had at the uh, at the minors and the major because then I can just do lots of stuff in post. Yeah, cool. That would be cool. That would be really good. That would be good. Yeah. yeah.